Hey, what's up guys, Shubhamir and today I'm going to install a custom ROM in Geon MP3. The custom ROM is uh, Cyanogen Mod, the Cyanite ROM and uh, this is the Geon MP3 and uh, before you download, before you install custom ROM, you need a rooted Geon MP3. The second thing is uh, you need a CTR recovery tool and the third and the final thing is you need a custom ROM downloaded. So, uh, first of all, let's jump into my computer, the desktop, and I'll show you how to download or from where to download a custom ROM and a CTR recovery tool. So, let's jump into the computer. So, guys, we are now on the desktop, and here I have opened the uh, website. It's uh, called www.needrom.com. So, I'll show you the links in the description down below of this video so you can reach it here quickly and uh, what you need to do is you just quickly make your uh, just, uh, you make your uh, sign up here uh, in this website to download these types of rom and there are lots of categories out there of other devices also you can download the roms but only when when you are signed up so just sign up quickly it's for free and uh, just after uh, registering just insert your username and password which are uh, which this comp this website send you in your uh, email id so check your email and, and copy the password and just go yeah so after you do that just uh, open the category go to geoni and after that go to geoni p3 and you can download any of the rom which you feel like this 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 will be good so you can download that there are also ratings are also there and it says 1831 total views but before you download these kind of roms you need a, a recovery tool called ctr recovery just open this there uh, there is ctr recovery in this new rom also uh, before you download any other custom rom this is not a custom rom this is actually a recovery tool which is uh, very important to have and necessary to have to install a custom ROM and make a backup. So for first of all, what you need is your if your device is rooted up, so no need of this framer root. Just directly download CTR recovery image tool and there's mobile uncle toolbox APK file. So what you need to do is just copy your CTR recovery download uh, download file CTR image into your SD card. Uh, copy paste into SD card uh, anywhere it doesn't matter and. Uh, I have to do that just open your mobile uncle toolbox and uh, uh, do a thing which I'll show you in the video uh, when we'll jump into the uh, mobile itself so I'll show you in quite a quick uh, quite a one second guys uh, I'll show you in just a second guys okay so just after you download this just download um, any of the custom ROM, but in my case today we are going to make install uh, Cyanite ROM. This is a Cyanogen mod ROM, so I'm going to install this one. So let's jump into the mobile. So after you do that, after you download all uh, the all the three things, the cust uh, recovery, the recovery image, CTR recovery image. The second thing is the mobile uncle tool, and the third is the custom ROM which you want. So after you do all this, all that things, uh, what you need is uh, just install the mobile uncle APK. This is the mobile uncle APK. Let me just focus it there on the name. As you can see, mobile uncle tool. So let me just open this. And after you open this, it looks like this mobile uncle tool. And after it opens, just click on recovery update and just uh, make sure that the image which you have downloaded is in the SD card so if it is in the uh, if it is in the uh, your internal storage just copy it just cut paste into or copy paste into your SD card so okay so that's it then uh, I'll just shut down my then after you do that, your device will uh, reboot automatically and it will install CTR recovery tool. So in my case, I'm just uh, power it off. 
because I have already installed CTR recovery tool so let me just power it off okay so I have shut down my uh, device and make sure it vibrates after shutdown which means your device is shut down properly so uh, but I want to say you something that I have already installed a custom ROM of Samsung Galaxy Note 3 I think you might notice that before and uh, and today now I'm going to install the uh, Cyanogen mode custom ROM so to bring it to a recovery mode what you need to do is press power uh, up key and the volume key together it bring you over here oops oops sorry guys uh, by mistakenly I just rebooted my device but don't worry I'll just restart again so now I bring it to the recovery mode and over here first of all the most important thing is you need to make a, a backup of your current ROM which you are running over there for example in my case I'm running on Samsung Galaxy Note 3 so I'll just make a backup of that uh, I already made a backup so in this I'm not going to make a backup but you need to ma make a backup of that over here it has written a backup uh, sorry for the camera quality my camera is uh, not focusing out there just a second guys it's struggling a lot for focusing there yeah it has uh, as you can see it's now clear backup and restore so just backup your current room and after you do that just wipe data factory reset there just go and press your power key yes and it will format all your data too uh, so I'll just skip that so guys wipe data factory reset option has been completed now the second option is wipe catch partition okay so I'll go there and uh, okay sorry guys uh, I'll not do this one because on the descriptions or I think I should not remove this first of all I'll go to advanced go to wipe Dalby catch and I'll click on yes and the Dalby catch has been removed go back now wipe catch partition now click on yes and it will going to format catch and now it has been done and now click on install zip choose zip from SD card our top over here it has written choose zip from SD card now choose the area where you downloaded that and if you want to scroll down and it is not showing you how to scroll down what you need is you need to slide your fingers uh, from left side to right side to scroll down so what I do is like this and it has me it has been scrolled down so the remaining folders are now showing up so I'll go into cyanogen it has cyanide zip click on yes install so it's going to install my cyanogen mode to sometimes it just stucks over there so don't worry about that don't think that it has been uh, freezed out uh, it's just processing out so just wait for hey patient and just wait I'll be back till it's complete and guys the last step also completed so the final thing I need to do is I'll just reboot my system and uh, it will show you and show me the cyanogen mode I think so and the first boot always takes The boot up is really impressing. Very impressive boot up. And it takes a time because this is the first boot, that's why. So the first boot always takes time. The sound has been <laughs> turned off. But then to the boot up takes time, so don't worry about that.
it shows me the welcome screen so I'll just quickly finish this English uh, I don't want the Wi-Fi password right now skip it just a second guys yeah so I'll just click on next next and here we are on the uh, cyanogen mode so let me just load the brightness yeah here is the brightness yeah so we are on the cyanogen mode and uh, it says it's a kit case so let's see uh, is it true or not yeah so it is true it is kit cat and by cyanogen cyanitron so that's it guys thank you for watching this video and i hope you like this video and i hope to see you in my next video thank you this is shivam signing off bye bye peace